Hi, this is Professor Gopal Das from Department of Chemistry of IIT Guwahati. I am also part of the research team of Center for the Environment and the work I am going to tell you in a short is basically done in the collaboration with the Center for Environment, one of my students and a colleague. So basically in this work we have tried to find out uh, how to use a waste product, especially agricultural waste product or fruit based waste product to make a valuable adsorbents mostly specifically in this work and how that work means can contribute in the broader perspective or water analysis or water treatment or water remediation whatever you call it so in this work basically we have taken a two foot waste and then we have made fruit waste based biochar and then biochar has been utilized to remove the some nitro aromatics compound from the water which is a nitro aromatics is a type of pollutant which is very common from in industrial resources as a waste material it has been discharged in the various water bodies so it, it is a uh, very alarming pollutant which has been contaminated the water and especially the wastewater and to make it perfect what we have done we have taken the waste material to make it a biochar and that biochar is selectively adsorbed that nitro aromatics compound from the wastewater and if we can success in this production overall we can in for future move on to the cheaper material for purification of the wastewater from the nitro aromatic compound however we have a plan to move on further for utilizing the similar type of other biochar and other modified or activated biochar so that we can have a better solution for the and cheaper solution for the water remediation which ultimately is derived from a waste water waste material and treatment for the waste water hello uh, myself is dr dipmuni deka so i am working with uh, in collaboration with professor gopal das sir so our main uh, aim of our study is uh, to use uh, how we can use a waste product uh, to give us a value added product uh, which can have a commercial benefit uh, uh, keeping this in mind or keeping this in rationally we have used certain uh, waste items uh, fruit waste uh, which are mostly mosambi fibers and pineapple waste uh, which can be used uh, for uh, wastewater treatment so uh, although uh, uh, currently the product that we have developed is actually now uh, we is in a nascent stage and we are looking for good collaborators who can uh, help us to uh, develop the product for for giving us a commercially market driven product so uh, we we expect that uh, we will get uh, good collaborations and uh, which uh, apart from this wastewater treatment uh, this uh, product can have other commercial applications. Hello everybody, my name is Neha, a PhD research scholar from Center for the Environment, IIT Guwahati. I am pursuing my PhD under the supervision of Professor Gopal Das, IIT Guwahati. So we have seen that nitroaromatic compounds are really toxic to human beings. Apart from that, they are uh, mutagenic and carcinogenic also. And they are basically coming from various industries like dye, pharmaceutical. So we are... Uh, trying to thought some solution for this problem then uh, we have seen that so many waste are generated in our hostels that is juice in juice, juice shop or hostel so we have collected two waste that is pineapple crown and uh, mosami fiber and we after the collection we have converted it into the biochar via process pyrolysis at 600 degrees celsius for three hours after that after the successful preparation of the biochar we have used this material for the adsorption of four nitrophenol and we have seen like like within a five minutes the adsorption reaches its equilibrium so this is the basically its striking feature and like that we can convert waste into wealth so after that our this work is published in a very prestigious journal that is chemical engineering science elsevier Thank you so much.